is the H9 Max effects processor from Eventide. And y'all, this is just such an impressive effects unit that has so damn much packed into such a small package with things like all kinds of modulation, filters, delays, reverbs, wahs, EQs, and drives. It's got everything under the sun and so many beautiful algorithms too that can really help shape the tone of your bass, but also make it completely not sound like a bass in any way at all. So really, where do we start with the H9? I guess really just to put it straightforward, it's an effects processor. There's all kinds of insane sounds within this pedal. Just being able to go from one sound to a completely jarring different one by just the click of a button to the next preset is insane. Pretty much like you're going from a regular bass compressed preamp sound to an insane out of this world synth sound by just hitting next on the preset bank is just it's so much to bring in. And there's so much to really go into with this pedal that honestly, I haven't even learned everything on it. I feel this is one of those pedals that the more time you spend with it, that's the more of course you can really unravel everything that it has to offer. <laughs> Before we really dig into the H9 Max more and for the sake of transparency, I do wanna say that this video is sponsored by our friends over at Sweetwater, but that has no effect on my opinions, the sounds I'm making or anything like that. So yeah, <laughs> let's just go on ahead. There's all kinds of different effects within this unit, such as pitch, modulation, filters, delays, drive, reverbs, was and EQ, and again, this is all that I've really scratched the surface of. And so you wouldn't really think that something that can give you so many complex sounds would be so simple. And that's what I really like about this thing, is that you can really get all the sounds that you're looking for through this, but to really get the full experience of the different sounds and soundscapes you're able to make, you should definitely download the free app and then connect to it via Bluetooth and it's just something where you can go in, change one of the 99 presets, or if you just wanna have eight presets to yourself, that's completely fine too. And there's over 500 available for free that you can go ahead and add to your entire preset list already. It's just so much, but it's so awesome. For the controls on the H9 Max, it's very simple but very intuitive. Below the screen, you have five buttons. You have this awesome giant knob called the hot knob, which can either be turned left or right and also clicked in too. And then finally, you have two foot switches on the bottom. The left one controls whether it's on or off, the right one controls tap tempo, but these also help you go between the different presets too. You start with presets and you're able to scroll through your presets either by going with the hot knob or clicking the foot switches. And then from there, you can change every little parameter about the preset that you're doing, whether it be using the X, Y, and Z or the hot knob button itself, where you can go in, fine tune everything, or you can just use the app itself to set everything, save the preset from there, and then either load it to your phone or to the pedal itself. At the top of the pedal, you see that you have two inputs and two outputs too, so you can get true stereo output with this unit. Then you'll see an expression pedal input, your power supply input, as well as a USB jack where you can hook it up to your computer. And finally, on the left side of the pedal, you see that there's MIDI in and out. So overall with the H9 Max, this is just simply an incredible tool for bass players and really studio professionals alike. I think this is great for a bass player that also has say like a synth or a keyboard setup too, 
or hell, they don't have that synth or keyboard set up, but they want that synth or keyboard sound. And guess what? You're able to do that with this unit. It can be a little complicated at first. I will definitely admit like, heck, these are the included brochures, manuals, whatever have you that come with it. It's pretty thick. And again, I don't even know everything there is to this pedal. There's so much to take in. So that can be a little daunting to people at first, but I think this is such a powerful, powerful studio tool, except I think they can work on their drives a little more to my ears, personally, at least. Other than that, every single other effect in here just sounds incredible. And another thing that's really cool to me personally is that you can go ahead, go in your settings on the app and choose it to go specifically for bass. So things are more finely tuned for the lower notes of the bass guitar, which I think is just a nice addition to the overall pedal. But yeah, this thing is wild, it's fun as hell, and it sounds so good too. I loved playing around with this thing and I can't wait to continue going with it and seeing what other sounds I unlock with it too. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the H9 Max and what other like studio tools should I really take a look at? Thank y'all so much for watching, as always, for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. I truly do appreciate it, and a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters right here. Just, just look at them. Mm. Mwah, mwah. If you want to be like one of these beautiful people right here and help support the channel every single month, be included things like early access to videos, giveaways, and more, then go ahead and head over to my Patreon page. But y'all, this is the final demo of 2021. Thank y'all so much for watching. Again, I know I always say it, but really, I truly do appreciate it, guys. And I'm so excited to just dig into new stuff for 2022 and see what all crazy things are on the horizon in terms of gear. And y'all, again, thank you so much for watching. It's just been one hell of a year. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, and I'll see y'all next time.